Every loss you have is annoying, but I feel like the Braves' five losses this year have had extra uh, nail-chewing type of reasons we lost. Um, Max Meyer, fantastic. And I think the Marlins found a, yet another amazing pitcher. Um, and for their sake, I hope he stays healthy. Because that slider change-up combination, um, we didn't know whether to tire or tire or wind our watch. And we chased a lot more than we usually do. But again, that's a credit to Meyer. Like, um, there's really nothing we could do. Um, and Chris Sale pitched a lot better than his line would indicate. That fifth inning got away from him um, with some questionable calls once again behind the plate. Something's got to be done, man. Something's got to be done because it keeps coming back to the um, game altering calls and whether it happens for the Marlins, the Braves, or whoever we're playing, it's just not fair. Hitting's hard enough, uh, and pitching's hard enough in, in, in baseball that you, you can't continually make it even harder on, um, on the players to do their jobs that they're paid to do and you're paid to have a consistent strike zone. My problem is the inconsistency, but um, we really just couldn't get anything going uh, with less than two outs, and um, Meyer made big pitches when he had to, um, and Chris Sale gave up a solo jack to um, Josh Bell in the first inning. Not a bad pitch, just didn't get it in enough, and the one place it was blowing out with the roof open to left um, to make it one nothing. Jared Kelnick made a fantastic diving play in left field to uh, prevent another run from scoring. So that was really nice to see. Um, and then in the second, a couple of soft singles. Uh, good approach singles by Avisil Garcia, Manuel Rivera, and Brujan. Uh, lined one right to Kelnick and it popped out of his glove. The, the liners right at outfielders are the hardest to place to make. Obviously, Jared's going to tell you he needs to make that, but they ended up uh, changing that error to a single, which I would have been okay if they kept the error, but uh, then Chris Sale was able to get a double dip to get out of that, and then Chris Sale cruised until the fifth inning. The Braves really couldn't get anything going. Um, hit by pitch in the first to Riley, nothing with two outs, and then in the second, we got a single from Marcel to lead off 12 game hit streak for the Big Bear. Um, but Orlando hit into a double dip to end that threat for us. And then third, we got a lead off single by Travi. Um, couple of strikeouts and then a double by Ozzy. But it's Travis, um, Travis, so we couldn't score it. Second and third, two outs and Mitchell, My uh, Max Meyer, um, Unleash the slide down and away slider to Riley and he got the layoff and then Unfortunately the fifth inning unraveled for sale after a soft contact devil uh, Excuse me in field single by Luis Arise and then a couple of walks a lot of questionable pitches in that those sequences to Bell and Berger and then two outs bases loaded and a flat Middle change up in De La Cruz cleared the bases five nothing. Uh, Austin Riley did get a leadoff triple and RBI ground out by Marcel, but we just couldn't uh, couldn't get anything going. We like I said, we chased a lot more than we typically do, but that was a product of Meyer being as good as he was um, and just not recognizing the. The break on the breaking pitches and the, the execution was phenomenal. Um, we just put, couldn't put a scare in them. Um, and the Marlins have gotten off to a rough start and are bad, but uh, I it just didn't have the it didn't have the feel. Ronald narrowly missed his first homer of the season, 113 mile an hour bolt that ended up being a double. And we couldn't cash in there either, so it was just one of those days again. Jesse Chavez gave up a couple of hits, but nothing in his inning of work. 
And Chris Sale did go seven, so that does help the pin. Um, but it just feels like really annoying stuff has happened when innings have gotten away from our pitchers. And I hope the day game curse isn't back. But I don't know if playing with the roof, roof open in Miami uh, has done us any favors either. It's kind of hard to see early on as well. But that was both sides. But just one of those days. Hopefully go for the series win tomorrow against a lefty that we have seen, um, Jesus Lazardo. So we'll see what happens. But as always, go Braves, champions forever. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Helps out a lot. Thanks, guys.